Good morning and welcome here to Philadelphia. I took a bus last night from New York here. It took me about two hours. I've stayed in a place called City House Hostel. Not bad, quite cold, few snores in the room. But now I'm absolutely ready to explore Philadelphia for the day. There should be loads of historic sites to see, a prison, many, many things I want to explore here. So come along with me and have a look around Philadelphia. So I did have to put my hood up because it's actually freezing cold today here in Philadelphia. But this city was so important throughout history and I'm now standing in front of Independence Hall. This is apparently the place where the Independence Declaration from the British were signed as far as I know. And there's this little museum where they're holding the Liberty Bell, which is apparently a very famous and important symbol to the city of Philadelphia. So I'm going inside find out a little more about it and then I'm going to be able to tell you more about it as well. Perhaps the State House bell rang with all the others on that important day too, in the Declaration's promise of freedom. Thus, the Pennsylvania State House bell became America's Liberty Bell. So it was very nice in that museum, it was actually free of charge and I learned a lot more about the importance of the Liberty Bell to the American people. It's a great symbol of freedom, American patriotism of course, but also democracy and getting rid of slavery. Originally the bell was just called State House Bell, but then they renamed it into Liberty Bell as it became, as I said, a great symbol of the anti-slavery movement. I must say it's an absolutely freezing day here in Philadelphia today but there aren't many tourists around at all and I'm now heading over to the tomb of the unknown Revolutionary War soldier. It's also here in the very center of the older part and while I'm on this historic tour I also just found out that just yesterday was the birthday of Benjamin Franklin. Over the last few months I have visited quite a few important historic cities for the United States of America, Washington DC, Boston, now here Philadelphia and of course I'm in New York for most of the time and it was quite an interesting experience, a few symbols reoccur of course but there are definitely some interesting differences as well. It just started snowing and I'm making my way over to the western part of the city to a very very famous prison where Al Capone apparently was imprisoned. Very excited to see. It is now snowing quite heavily and I'm inside the Eastern State Penitentiary where Al Capone got his first taste of prison. It's $16 but you get the audio tour included. It looks very interesting so far, not many people here at all. Industrialization eventually made it impractical for the separate system to continue. 
I do definitely recommend seeing the prison. The audio tour is not too long and you won't get bored. It's very interesting in there. This prison was very influential to all the prisons around the world because they tried a new prison system where they had the people isolated and left them in silence. This system was then adapted in many prisons in Europe and other prisons around the world. And what's also very special to it is the shape of the prison. So there's one center point in the prison and many halls leading out from the center. So I just had a short lunch break, also went inside to warm up a little, but it didn't really work. It's still freezing cold outside. Now this morning I saw many historic things. Now it's time for something a little bit different. I'm going to see the famous Rocky Steps from the boxing movie and they're just around the corner. left the Philadelphia Art Museum, came outside, everything was white, the city looks beautiful covered in snow and the museum was great as well. At first I didn't plan to go inside, I just was going to see the rocky steps but then I thought oh well it's quite cold so and it was definitely worth it. It was $14 with a student ID and $25 without. They have Asian art, American, European art, a very, very large collection. The last thing I want to see here in Philadelphia today is the Fairmount Park. It's just behind the museum. I'm going to have a quick explore. Then I'm going to go back to the hostel, grab my bags and go back to New York this evening. All right, I think I'm gonna escape the cold here now soon. Gonna head back to the hostel and then jump on a bus back to New York. I have really, really enjoyed my day here in Philadelphia. Probably the most interesting thing for me has been the prison, but everything else I also enjoyed. I think one day is enough to see the major sites of the cities. If you wanna spend more time in a museum or go to the zoo as well, they also have then maybe a weekend, make it a two, three day trip. For me this one day has been perfect, thank you for coming along this cold but very nice day and I see you in the next one.